All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I actually have a player unknown battlegrounds video So I know a lot of you guys are probably pretty confused You're probably thinking to yourself wait So you posted h1z1 and now you're posting player unknown battlegrounds, which is like it's nemesis game Like you know like what's going on here? You're like confusing me, but honestly I bought player unknown battlegrounds I played it for like six seven hours And I know a lot of stuff about it that a lot of people don't know and a lot of people getting the game are gonna want to know So I'm gonna start making videos on player unknown battlegrounds as well as h1z1 so people that are subscribed for h1 don't worry that's not going away and people that are new around here this is the first video you're watching and you want to see more player unknown videos those are going to be here too i'm just going to be uploading a mix of both through the next you know as long as i decide to post h1z1 and player unknown battlegrounds if this is the first video you're watching and you are seeing my player unknown videos then uh, welcome to the channel hope you guys do enjoy it here basically what we're going to be doing is just going over a bunch of tips i'll probably do some live videos and live streams and stuff like that on player unknown as well but uh, like i said if you're new this is the first video you're watching i hope you do enjoy the content that i've decided to produce and if you decide to subscribe and like the video that'd be amazing and if you don't then up uh, dang it but let's get into the video so today we're going to talk about how to aim better and how to just hit your shots better so this is like a standard tip for any game that you want to play you know you want to know how to aim better you're you just bought this game you're like all right did i want to get h1 or do i want to get player unknown so you got player unknown now you want to know how to damn aim in the game so that's why you're here now this is not how to aim like this is not like a sensitivity video or something like that it's more in-game mechanics that help you aim better and help you get your shots a little bit better so the first by for you guys is to tap the right click button on your mouse rather than holding it because that'll actually put you in first person without having to click any buttons like in h1z1 where i think you click t to go into it i'm not 100 sure about that in this game it's v well these are just the default ones but tapping it will actually put you into first person right away instead of holding the thing which will put you in third person and you'll just be aiming down third person which is kind of different than in h1z1 so if you're a player of h1z1 and you're just coming over this game and you're wondering you know how to aim better in this game now you think it's the same it's not i do not recommend aiming in third person I recommend aiming in first person like I said just tap the right click button rather than holding it and it'll put you in first person and you'll be able to aim your shots a little bit better so another tip I for you guys is in this game there are attachments like uh, four times scope eight times scope uh, red dot sight holographic sight uh, four grips all that kind of stuff so what you're gonna want to do is put as put things like red dot sights and holographics on your things like ARs like your m4s and your scar and your AK and especially your scar and your m416 those do not have very good iron sights so putting a red dot sight and a holographic sight on it will help you a ton because like I said they're just bulky they get in the way there's no point in those iron sights and I just don't like them overall so honestly I'd recommend putting a red dot and a holographic on both of those guns or honestly every single AR it just gives you a clearer shot and makes it so that you don't have to really you know look around your iron sight so the next thing I have for you guys is something that you h one Zealand players will know there's a lot of bullet drop in h1z1 but there is luckily not any in this game if any at all there might be like a little tiny slight but honestly it's not something you should worry about you shouldn't line up your shots and aim it high because you're gonna end up actually hitting them high and if you're not aiming at them then you're not gonna hit them so this game has like i guess you know normal like i guess call to do phys physics i guess that's what i compare it to you know you shoot straight it goes straight next thing is you do actually need to still lead your shots it's still realistic like that like if you if you shoot a bullet they're gonna run into it rather than it just like you shot it at them while they were moving so it's gonna hit them anyway they actually do have to run into the bullets still so that, that that's still a mechanic that this game has and the last tip I have for you guys is if you click B it will change the fire types on your ARs from single to auto so if you guys like shooting and spraying you know single just like click 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 you like clicking fast and killing them like that then you can do that but if you just like holding the mouse button then you can change it to auto and you will be good to go so that's gonna be it for this video guys if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later peace out